Hello guys, welcome to our channel and this video is about definite integrals. Now we know what indefinite integrals are, the integrals which doesn't have a unique value. They are denoted like this, integral of f of x with respect to dx is equal to f of x plus c, c is called constant of integration. So as the name suggests, definite integrals are the integrals which have a unique value. Since they have a unique value, we don't use constant of integration in case of definite integrals and they are written as integral f of x dx from a to b, okay? which is equal to f of x whose value is from a to b or just ki value likhte hum f of a minus f of b k equal. This is how you write a definite integral. Further understand it, let's use an example. Say we have an example of x square minus 1 dx and we have to integrate it. Isko padhte hum integrate within the limits a and b. So let's see we have to integrate it within the limit 0 and 2. Okay. So, this integration kya hogi? Iski integration hogi integration 0 to 2 x square dx minus integration 0 to 2 1 dx which is equal to x cube by 3 from kya se gana tha? integral ka a to b a to b minus iska integral kya hoga x from a to b a mr plus 0 b mr plus 2 a has 0 b mr plus 2. So, iski value kya jayegi mr plus? 1 by 3 constant bahar a gaya. 1 by 3 x cube 0 to 2 minus x 0 to 2 which is equal to f of a sorry f of b minus f of a upper limit minus lower limit so upper limit mr plus 2 put kar do 1 upon 3 2 cube minus 0 cube minus yaan pe bhi 2 minus 0 which is equal to 8 upon 3 minus 2 which is equal to 8 minus 6 upon 3 which is equal to 2 upon 3 and this is how you solve a definite integral now let's solve some examples using definite integrals so in def first ye hamar pa definite integral de rakha x square minus x dx we have to integrate it within the limits 1 and 4 so iski integration kya hogi same method integral 1 to 4 x square dx minus integral 1 to 4 x dx which is equal to x square ka integral x cube by 3 within the limits 1 and 4 minus x square by 2 from 1 and 4 which is equal to 1 by 3 constant bahar 4 or 1 do limits hai so b cube minus a cube that is 4 cube minus 1 cube minus x square by 2 1 upon 2 constant bahar x square ki limit 4 or 1 that is 4 square minus 1 square which is equal to 1 upon 3 a 4 cube kya hota hai? 64 so 64 minus 1 minus 1 upon 2 16 minus 1 which is equal to 63 upon 3 minus 16 upon 2 so its LCM will be 3 and 2 calcium 6 or yaan pe 63 into 2 is equal to 1 26 minus 16 into 3 is equal to 48 so we have 126 minus 48 78 by 6 and hence the result now next example is we have to integrate sine 2x from the limit 0 to pi by 4 now integration of sine x is equal to sine 2x ki integration yogi minus 1 upon 2 cos 2x from the limit 0 to pi by 4 which is equal to minus 1 upon 2 constant bar a gaya cos 2x from 0 to pi by 4 which is equal to minus 1 upon 2 upper limit minus lower limit so cos 2 into pi by 4 minus cos 2 into 0 which is equal to minus 1 upon 2 cos pi by 2 minus cos 0 now cos pi by 2 is equal to 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1 so we have minus 1 upon 2 0 minus 1 which is equal to 1 upon 2. Next example is we have to integrate natural exponent function from the limit 4 to 5. So we know exponential ka integration kya fits exponential function. So we have integration of e ki power x dx is equal to exponential x from the limit 4 to 5. 
So upper limit minus lower limit, we get exponential 5 minus e raised to power 4, which is equal to, of the no lower power one see, e raised to power 4, commonly low, e raised to power 4, e minus 1, and hence the result. The next example is, we have to solve 1 upon under the root 1 plus x here dx, integrate it from the limit 0 to 1. Now integration of 1 upon 1 plus x here is equal to tangent inverse x, so we have tangent inverse x, from the limit 0 to 1, which is equal to tangent inverse 1 minus tangent inverse 0. Now tangent inverse 0 is equal to 0 and tangent inverse 1 is equal to pi by 4. So we have pi by 4 minus 0, which is equal to pi by 4 and hence the result. Now in this example, we have to integrate from the limit 0 to 1 for the function x cube plus exponential 2x dx, which is equal to dono integral along with integral 0 to 1 x cube dx plus integral 0 to 1 exponential 2x dx which is equal to of x cube by integral x cube power 3 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 that is x raised to power 4 upon 4 from the limit 0 to 1 plus exponential we say exponential but 2x be here so we have e key power 2x upon differential of 2x which is equal to from the limit 0 to 1 which is equal to 1 upon 4 x raised to power 4 0 to 1 plus 1 upon 2 exponential 2x from 0 to 1 which is equal to 1 upon 4 1 minus 0 plus 1 upon 2 exponential raised to power 2 minus exponential 0 which is equal to 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 2 exponential square minus 1. Now we'll solve some definite integrals, but by the method of substitution. Now we have already studied the method of substitution, but in case of definite integrals, हम क्या करते हैं substitution में x variable को change कर देते हैं t के variable में normally ठीक है. But since हमारे पास limit दे रखी है definite integral में, तो अगर हम variable change कर रहे हैं, तो limit भी उस हिसाब से change होगी. So for example, so अब इसमें क्या करेंगे? हम put करते हैं x square plus one is equal to t के लिए Okay, differentiating both sides with respect to x, we get 2x dx is equal to dt. Ye dx kaan chaate hai, se batata hoon. Yaan pe kya hoga iske differentiation? 2x is equal to dt ki hoga with respect to x ke dt by dx. So a dx multiply ke yaan chala gaya, we get 2x dx is equal to dt. So x dx becomes dt by 2. Tumhari pas function kya ban jata hai? Change hoke, okay. x dx kya ban gaya dt and 1 upon x k plus 1 kya t. So 1 upon t dt, but x dx kya dt by 2. So 1 upon 2t into dt integral, but variable change ho gaya, x kya t a gaya, to limits bhi change ho gi. To humne put kya tha starting mein x kya plus 1 is equal to t k, hum isko use karenge at lower limit x is equal to 0 pe, t ki value kya ban jai gi? 1, 0 plus 1, 1. So t is equal to 1 and at upper limit x is equal to 1 pe t ki value given jayegi 1 plus 1 2 t is equal to 2 so limit changes from 0 to 1 to 1 to 2 ye aagi hamare paas nayi limit ab hum isko solve karenge between these two limits okay integration of 1 upon 2 t kya hoga 1 upon 2 constant hai bahar aa jayega we get 1 upon 2 1 to 2 1 upon t dt which is equal to 1 upon 2 now integration of 1 upon x dx kya hota hai log of x so integration of 1 upon t dt kya hoga log of t within the limits 1 to 2 which is equal to 1 upon 2 log of 2 minus log of 1 now we know log 1 is equal to 0 so final result is equal to 1 upon 2 log 2 next example is we have to find integral of 5x raised to power 4 into under the root x raised to power 5 plus 1 dx from the limits minus 1 to 1 so first step substitution ka put x is to power 5 plus 1 is equal to t implies 5 x raised to power 4 dx is equal to dt. Ye gia aagi maar pas dt ki value this is equal to t. So integral becomes under the root t dt but variable change ho rahe hai to limit bhi change honge. So using this at x is equal to minus 1 t ki value kya jayegi minus 1 plus 1 0 and at x is equal to 1 t ki value kya jayegi 1 plus 1 2. So limit आ गया हमारे पास 0 to 2 और इसका integral क्या हो जाएगा? Integral 0 to 2 t raised to power 1 by 2 dt which is equal to 
t raised to power 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 within the limits 0 to 2 which is equal to 2 by 3 t raised to power 3 by 2 within the limit 0 to 2 which is equal to 2 by 3 2 raised to power 3 by 2 अब 2 raised to power 3 by 2 को मैं कैसे ले सकता हूँ? I can also write it as 2 upon 3 into 2 under the root 2, which is equal to 4 by 3 under the root 2, and hence the result. Now in this example, we have to find the value of sin x upon 1 plus cos square x into dx while integrating within the limit 0 to pi by 2. So first step, मेरे को cos का integral differential यहाँ पे दिख रहा है, that is sin x. So put cos x is equal to t implies minus sin x dx is equal to dt. Okay, ये आ गया हमारे पास dt की वैल्यू, ये आ गया हमारे पास t. So इसकी वैल्यू आ जाएगी इंटीग्रल की minus one upon one plus t square into dt. But वेरिएबल चेंज है, लिमिट भी चेंज होगी. So at x is equal to x is equal to zero, t की वैल्यू क्या आ जाएगी one and at x is equal to pi by two cos pi by 2 is equal to 0, so t की value क्या आ जाएगी? 0, तो limit आगी from 1 to 0, तो इसकी value आएगी negative integral 1 to 0, 1 upon 1 plus t square dt, ये किसका integration होता है? इसकी integration क्या होती है? tangent inverse x की equal, so we have minus tangent inverse t from 1 to 0, which is equal to negative of tangent inverse 0 minus tangent inverse 1. Now, tangent inverse 0, 0 और tangent inverse 1 की value क्या होती है? pi by 4, so we have negative to negative pi by 4 which is equal to pi by 4. So the definite integral of sin x upon 1 plus cos square x from limit 0 to pi by 2 is equal to pi by 4. So guys this was it for today. If you have any problems regarding integration or something you want us to solve, any doubts, you can roam around in the comment section a bit and until next time keep practicing.